the time to talk is now. With a week to go until the start of free agency, John Tavares is about to be wined and dined, and bribed with free bagels. Six teams, including his current one, are apparently on the New York Islanders center's shortlist and will meet with him at his agent's office in Los Angeles beginning Monday. But, according to reports, Tavares still might meet up with two more teams afterwards as he decides whether to become a free agent on July 1st, what will go into his decision? Money, of course, although every team is likely offering somewhere in the neighborhood of $80 million, followed by location and proximity to challenging for a Stanley Cup, as well as who's playing there already and his potential line mates. The rose ceremony for the NHL's most eligible bachelor begins now. Here are the teams Tavares could end up in a long-term relationship with. Boston Bruins Why do they want him? In Patrice Bergeron, Brad Marchand and David Pasternak, the Bruins had one of the best forward lines in the NHL last season. What they lacked was another line that could do similar damage now that 32-year-old David Krejci's production is on the decline. What can they offer besides money? They probably aren't going to break up Bergeron, Marchand and Pasternak, but Jake DeBrusque 16 goals and 43 points as a rookie and the potential of Ryan Donato, 5 goals and 9 points in 12 games, means Boston could have some younger options for Tavares to play with. Could they make it fit? Boston only has about $12 million to play with, and that's with only 18 players under contract and with Calder Trophy finalist Charlie McVoy entering the final season of his entry-level contract. In other words, the team will have to get creative by trading either Krejci or David Backus. Boston Bruins left-wing Jake DeBrusque, 74, celebrates his goal against the Toronto Maple Leafs on April 19. Frank Gunn, the Canadian press Dallas Stars Why do they want him? Jason Spezza and Tyler Seguin are entering the final year of their contracts. Dallas obviously hopes Seguin will re-sign, but even with him back, the team's next best center is 23-year-old Roddick Faxa, who scored 33 points for the second straight year. What can they offer besides money? With Jim Montgomery stepping in as the new coach, there's a chance he could split up Seguin and Jamie Benn, giving Tavares a former Art Ross Trophy winner as a linemate. Or he could play alongside Alexander Radulov, who had 45 assists this season. Could they make it fit? The good news is the Stars should have about $20 million to spend this summer. The bad news, only 14 players are currently signed. Unless there's a buyout or a trade coming for Spezza, that doesn't leave much wiggle room for GM Jim Nil. Nashville Predators Why do they want him? GM David Paul, who traded for Kyle Turris last season and swung a blockbuster deal for PK. Subban a year earlier, isn't afraid to go all in these days. Getting Tavares might not be a necessity for a team that already has Ryan Johansson and Turris down the middle. But have you seen the Predators' defense? This team is all about excess. What can they offer besides money? Nashville, which reached the conference semifinals last year and played in the Stanley Cup final the year before, is already a top contender in the West. That's enticing to player who has won just one playoff round in the last nine years. Could they make it fit? Nashville, which has 19 players signed for next season, has about $12 million remaining under the cap to sign forward Ryan Hartman and backup goalie Juz Saros. Of course, they could have more to spend if Paul decides to trade Vezina Trophy winning goalie Pecorine, who is in the final year of a contract that pays him $7 million and is coming off a disappointing postseason performance. In this January 25th file photo, New York Islanders captain John Tavares skates against the Vegas Golden Knights. Ethan Miller, Getty Images New York Islanders Why do they want him? Well, they drafted him and probably don't want to lose him for nothing. Aside from that, Tavares is the captain and best player on this team. He's the reason Josh Bailey had 71 points this season. Without Tavares, the Islanders would get a lot worse. What can they offer besides money? Only the Islanders are allowed to go as high as eight years on a new contract, because he would be re-signing with them. 
that length of term is appealing with Matthew Barzell coming off a team-leading 85-point season. And with Lula Moriello hired as the new GM and Barry Trotz as the new coach, things are finally looking up for New York. Could they make it fit? The Islanders have 10 available roster spots and more than $32 million with which to fill them, so offering Tavares an 8-year deal worth $88 million still gives the team flexibility under the cap. San Jose Sharks Why do they want him? Joe Thornton is a free agent, but even if he comes back, the 38-year-old is nearing retirement. With 33-year-old Joe Pavelski and 29-year-old Logan Couture both a year away from unrestricted free agency, the Sharks have to plan for a future that might not include them. What can they offer besides money? The Sharks were in the Stanley Cup final two years ago and while Patrick Marlowe is gone to Toronto and Thornton is on his last legs, the rest of the roster is largely intact and in their prime. With Couture installed as the no. Center for at least another year, Tavares wouldn't have to carry the load and would have a choice of wingers including Pavelski, 66 points, Evander Kane, 29 goals, Tomas Hurdle, 22 goals, and Team Meyer, 21 goals, could they make it fit? After buying out defenseman Paul Martin and trading Mikkel Bodker to Ottawa, San Jose has $19 million in cap room with only Hurdle and Chris Tierney needing new contracts. That's enough for the Sharks to not only sign Tavares, but also to bring Thornton back. In this Jan. 7. File photo, Tampa Bay Lightning right wing Nikita Kucherov, right, celebrates his goal against the Detroit Red Wings with captain Steven Stamkos. Paul Sancia, AP Tampa Bay Lightning Why do they want him? The Lightning reached the conference final in this year's playoffs, but they didn't get past the Capitals because they couldn't generate 5-on-5 five five goals. Tavares, who scored only 30 of his 84 points on the power play, could help in that regard. What can they offer besides money? Nikita Kucherov finished third in scoring with 100 points and Steven Stamkos ended up in 12th with 86 points. Crazy as it sounds, both could play on a line with Tavares if head coach John Cooper moved Stamkos to the wing rather than bumping Braden point 32 goals and 66 points down to become the third line center. Could they make it fit? Here's where it gets tricky. The Lightning have $10.5 million remaining under the cap with only four players left to sign, but next year Kutcher and Point become restricted free agents. Of course, a combined $15.9 million is also coming off the books in 2019 with defensemen Ryan McDonough, Anton Strauman, Braden Coburn and Dan Girardi all entering unrestricted free agency. Toronto Maple Leafs Why do they want him? Toronto already has Austin Matthews and Nazem Kadri slotted down the middle, but the chance to land Tavares would give the Leafs the best center depth in the league. As Capitals showed this year, you can never too much strength at the position. What can they offer besides money? Simple, the chance to win a Stanley Cup in his hometown. It's every Toronto kid's dream. And with Mike Babcock as the coach and some of the best young forwards in the league, it's looking more like it could be a reality. Also, playing with Mitch Marner on one side and Marlowe on the other could give Tavares his first 100-point season. Could they make it fit? With 18 players signed, the Leafs have nearly $25 million in cap space. But it's shrinking fast. Money has to be earmarked for Toronto's trio of young forwards. First up is William Nylander, who needs a contract extension this summer. Matthews and Marner's entry-level deals expire after this season. Combined, they could account for roughly $25 million per year. No wonder some have suggested Toronto go to the max and sign Tavares as a one-year, $16 million rental player. Vegas Golden Knights Why they want him? The honeymoon is over, but it doesn't have to be. After reaching the Stanley Cup final in their inaugural season, the Golden Knights could be back again with the addition of Tavares. Of course, you could no longer call them the Golden Misfits, what they can offer besides money. It's Vegas, baby. If the strip wasn't enough of a lure, anyone who's been to a game or watched on TV saw that this is already an exciting and supporting hockey market. 
two-way center William Carlson, who scored 43 goals this year, gives Tavares some breathing room. But the team might have to find a winger or two for him to play with. Could they make it fit? With almost $31 million in projected cap space and 17 players signed, Carlson and Shea Theodore are the only ones who could get pricey. The Golden Knights have more than enough to pay Tavares and find him a top-line winger, such as free agent James Van Riemsdyk. That is, unless they decide to trade for Ottawa's Eric Carlson instead, email mtricos at postmedia.com, Twitter, at Michael underscore tricos.